This is 7.1 Nervous Systems Notes. The essential question is, what are the main functions of the nervous system and how are the branches of the nervous system organized? The functions of the nervous system is broken down into three main functions. The first function is the sensory function and their job is to detect any kind of changes that are happening outside the body, any information coming in from the outside into the body, into the brain and the spinal cord. The integrative function is the function of taking the information that was received from the sensory function, then making a decision uh, about what to do about the information that has come in. It is the thinking portion of the brain. The last function is the motor function, which is now that once the integrative function has made a decision about what to do with the information received from the sensory function, then it carries out the information. So if the sensory is thought of as input information coming in, then motor function is the output, the action that actually carries out whatever message, the decision that the integrative function has made. The organs and glands or muscles that carry out the functions are called effectors. As an example, so let's say that you see something through the, your sensory function, you see someone chasing you. So you see someone coming running towards you. That information gets sent through the sensory function to the brain. The brain carries out the integrative function, which means now the information coming is that you are in danger that somebody's coming towards you and that could be a somebody that can harm you, then the brain has to think of a decision to make. What should you do? The decision could be that you stand there and you fight or you run away. The Once the decision has been made to get out of the situation, then your brain will, through the motor function, tell the organ, in this case the muscles, which is the effector, to work to get you run out of the, uh, run away from the area. So this is the how the brain works. You get the sensory information input. Some kind of information gets sent to the brain, telling you you know you need to make a decision of what to do. Then the motor function is the act that happens, the output of the whatever decision that has been made out. The divisions of the nervous system. There are two main divisions of the nervous system, which is the central nervous system, which deals with the brain and the spinal cord. And the function of the brain and the spinal cord, and mainly the brain, it is an, uh, the major function is the integrated function where the thinking and decision making is done. Also, there are thoughts, memories, your emotions are stored in the brain also. The spinal cord, the main function of the spinal cord is the connection between the nerves of the rest of the body to the brain. It's the connection. It's the relay. It's, think of it like the highway of information going up and down from the brain to the rest of the body. So the brain then also is the starting point for all of majority of the nerves that's going to carry out the motor function is located in the brain. That's what it's meant by most nerve impulses that influence effect organs begin at the central nervous system. The other branch is called the peripheral nervous system, which consists of the cranial nerves and the spinal nerves. The cranial nerves are attached to the brain and the spinal nerves are attached to the spinal cord. Their job is to carry out, they contain sensory neurons, Remember, sensory is input. Any information going towards the brain and the spinal cord are considered sensory neurons. And the word afferent with the A is kind of synonymous with sensory. Sensory tells you that it's information going toward the brain. Afferent also means that it's going toward the brain. So both of them are kind of used interchangeably. Motor neurons or efferent neurons with the E, their job is to send information away from the central nervous system, which is the brain and the spinal cord. And information gets sent from the central nervous system to the effector organ. 
In this case, it could be a muscle, gland, any type of organs that is going to carry out the actions of the nervous system is your motor neuron. Here's a general picture of the nervous system. Notice in the brown, the brain and the spinal cord is part of the central nervous system. The spinal nerves, which come off of the spinal cord in the yellow, and all of these peripheral nerves, and the cranial nerves coming off the brain are part of the PNS, the peripheral nervous system. You could think of the brain and the spinal cord, their job is to receive any type of sensory information, information coming into the brain and the spinal cord, the input. Then the peripheral nervous system, they're mainly for the output, the motor function. All of the information being sent out from the brain and the spinal cord belongs in the peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system then is further divided into the what is called the somatic nervous system, which is information that are going out that you have a control over, conscious control over. These are your voluntary um, actions. So your primarily your skeletal muscles that we just got done doing. All of your skeletal muscles are under the control of the somatic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system, look at the word autonomic. Auto means that it runs by itself. It automatically happens on its own. It is involuntary. So all of your smooth muscles, your cardiac muscles, all of the organs, internal organs, uh, digestion, uh, even breathing, all of those functions that you do not have to control, those are all under the control of the autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system then is further divided into two other divisions called the sympathetic nervous system, which is called the fight or flight. And the sympathetic kicks in when you are in an emergency or a non-normal situation. Usually when you are angry, when you're nervous, when you're upset, when you're scared, that's the time when your sympathetic nervous system uh, kicks in. Parasympathetic nervous system is the one is uh, considered the feed and breed, which means that normal everyday situation and your digestive system and mainly your reproductive systems are under the control of the parasympathetic system. This is the one that calms you down. This is the one that uh, makes you sluggish after you eat, when you're relaxed, happy. That's your parasympathetic. If you're nervous, uh, stressed out all the time, that's your sympathetic nervous system. Here is a diagram showing you the overall organization of the nervous system. Notice that the big two division is the central nervous system here at the top in the yellow and then the peripheral nervous system. Again, the central nervous system deals mainly with the sensory portion with information going towards the central nervous system. The peripheral nervous system has to deal with the motor function, information going out, the output, action portion of the nervous system. And the motor portion is divided into, the peripheral nervous system is divided into the autonomic and the somatic. The somatic deal with, deal with the voluntary, like your skeletal muscles. The autonomic Division deals with the involuntary function that deal with all of the automatic, the, the ones that you don't have to think about, the ones that you do not control, like your cardiac muscle, your smooth muscles, and all of your glands, your hormonal glands, all of those are under the control of the autonomic nervous system. The 7.1 notes homework is, number one, what are the functions of the nervous system? Number two, describe how the branches of the nervous systems are organized. Number three, how do the branches of the autonomic nervous system similar and different?